Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading for the last half of July. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, guys, overall energy for Sagittarius. Hmm. Nine of Wands reversed. All right, so I'm aware that you can't really see these when I lay them out, but I will show them all to you as I read them, so no worries. Recent past for Sagittarius in love. King of Wands, nice guys. Present energy for Sagittarius in love. Oh, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Future for Sagittarius in love. Three of Cups reversed. Potential obstacle for Sagittarius in love. Judgment. What is Sagittarius hoping for in love? Strength. Well, you got a lot of majors here, guys. What is Sagittarius afraid of in love? What is the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Sorry about that. <coughs> I don't know why I couldn't see it. Okay, guys, here we go. All right, so for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. So it would be the energy that you yourself are taking on during these two weeks of July. Everything else here is interchangeable, can be for you, the person you're dealing with, all that good stuff, right? Okay, so your overall energy, guys, you have the Nine of Wands reverse here. So this is fire, so you are in your element. Um, but there's a situation that you're involved in that's really draining and really tiring and you've really been putting in a lot of work and a lot of effort and you, you're you just kind of now just giving up on it. Like you really persisted, you really persisted and now you're just at the point where I just, I have to give up, I can't do this anymore. Clarify the Nine of Wands, reverse. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. You're dropping your burdens. Um, you're just done with it. There's Whatever your situation was that you were dealing with, whether it was a relationship or just some kind of situation, it really took a lot out of you, like drained the actual hell out of you. Like It was just too much. It was just too heavy. For whatever reason, I don't know, but you're done with it. You're putting an end to it. You're not, you're not dealing with the heaviness of the situation anymore. All right, in your recent past, you have the King of Wands. This is your energy as well as Leo and Aries. So I think what happened here was <coughs> you were in this situation where you just kept trying, 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 and something happened where you something kind of clicked in you and you, you were like, wait, what is this? Why am I doing this? Like, this is not who I am. I don't put up with this shit. And you kind of got your power back and that's why you're ready to give up now because you're back you you know you have your confidence back you're back being yourself knowing your worth um and you're not you're not going to let somebody get in the way of what it is that you want out of your love life because they're not the kind of person that can give you what you want i guess um you know what i mean king of wands goes after what he wants whether it's a male or female and not in an arrogant kind of way. That's just the confidence that he has. Okay, so that's, you kind of got that mentality back in your recent past and it's allowing you now to drop this shit that you've been hanging on to for a while. Okay. Now in your present though, you have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So probably feeling like timing isn't on your side, probably some impatience, feeling like things kind of aren't going your way, but 
it's just because of what you're doing right now. You're dropping something that's really heavy. So you need to just not resist and kind of go with the flow, all right? Things are gonna happen in their own time, right? It's all about divine timing and I hate that because I'm impatient as hell, but it is what it is, you know? <clears throat> you It will come back around for you. Not the relationship or situation I mean, but just you feeling good about your life, feeling good about yourself, feeling like things are moving in the right direction. Clarify the wheel of fortune. Reverse for Sagittarius. The Four of Pentacles. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But that's an energy of holding back. It's like closing off your heart chakra as well. So it's either it's holding on to something really tightly or it's holding back from being emotional. And I think that it's more that in your case because I, you are dropping something you're not holding on anymore. All right, now in your immediate future, you have the Three of Cups reversed. So this can be overindulging, partying too much. It can be a third party situation, but I don't really see that in your case since you're letting it go. Um, that may be why you are, you might find out about it, but this can be just a, you know, lack of celebration, just a general crappy feeling. Um, if you were hoping for a reunion with this person or they were with you, it doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon. Clarify the Three of Cups. Reverse for Sagittarius. The Queen of Cups. Somebody might be in a third party situation with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or somebody was hoping for a reunion with one and it's just not happening. Um... Queen of Cups is very loving, very compassionate, spiritual, maternal, <coughs> FYI. Um, so it can be like, um, like a mother figure, a baby's mom, something like that. All right, your potential obstacle, you have judgment. So with judgment as an obstacle here, I think that something does come up to be reevaluated like a situation from the past, but I don't think that it's going to go anywhere. Not with that three of cups reversed in the future. I think that it is an issue. It does come up, but I don't think anything's going to happen with it. All right. This is a reevaluation of past shit, right? You have to make that one final judgment call. And I think that that's all it is. It's just like you're presented with an opportunity to maybe reunite with someone, but it's not gonna happen. All right. Okay. What are you hoping for, guys? Strength, might be a Leo that you're interested in. Um, but I think you're just hoping that you are strong enough to get through this, and I think you are. I think you're at that point where you're back in your power and you know who you are, you know your worth, and you do have this strength now. So, I mean, I think you're hoping for that. I think you have it. You just have to stay in your power. What are you afraid of? The Eight of Pentacles reversed. You're afraid of repeating patterns. All you have to do is not repeat them, guys. It's a choice. You have all the power in the world to control how your relationships go. If you're afraid of repeating patterns in a relationship or a connection, then just don't. You've already identified them, so just, you know, be mindful. You don't have to participate just because somebody else is, right? All right, your advice, guys. The first one you have, the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't think the signs are relevant in the advice position, but if you do, cool. With the Queen of Swords as an advice card though, pay attention to logic and fact and not your emotion. Don't get caught up in your emotion and ignore the facts of the situation. And make sure that you're clear in your communication. Make sure you're cutting out anyone that isn't good for you, right? All right, one more advice for Sagittarius. Advice for Sagittarius in love.
three of pentacles reversed. So that's your second three here that you have reversed. So there could definitely be a third party situation. You might need to cut someone off because of it. Um, you might need to cut someone off because they don't know how to work together. They're not, there's nothing, you guys aren't building together. There's no teamwork. Or there's too many people involved and somebody needs cut out. Okay. All right. Take care, Sagittarius. <laughs>